La Finta Giardiniera, the pretend gardener girl, um, was written in 1774 and premiered in 1775 when Mozart was 18. It's about seven characters in search of love. We are in the Gerwood studio, Glyndebourne, and we are rehearsing Finta Giardiniera by Mozart. Well, Freddy works very much with the person and he is one of the most natural people I know. He only works with what works naturally for you. There are no mistakes with Freddy. If you make a mistake, you are risking actually him keeping that mistake in the show as a gag. I like the fact that there are, there are only seven people in the cast um, and it's a real ensemble piece. So um, we get to spend a lot of time together in the rehearsal room. We've got a real close-knit family. Yeah, we've been exchanging a lot of experiences. Mm -hmm. We've been cooking Italian food. Oh, really? Yes. We have been learning Italian, those of us who are not Italian, and they have been learning English. Mm -hmm. I've been staying aloof <laughs> and teacherly and throughout the whole process. Oh, lovely, lovely, lovely. But... Well, I do have a few favourite moments. One of them is a striptease that I'm doing in the opera, taking a few of my items of clothing off. Uh, but still remaining in quite a lot of underwear, so you can't really see much. Don't say that, but no one's going to come now. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> the second one is obviously the liberating feeling of... Shh! The thing bits. we're not allowed to talk about. Shh! Well, my favourite moment is the bit that we're not allowed to talk about, because we're not allowed to give it away. Um, but it is the moment when Sandrine and Belfiore, the two main lovers, finally go mad. And for me, that madness is, is a, actually a sign of clarity and it's seeing all the finta, all the fakeness in the rest of the world that they've come from. And that is where we do the big coup that we're not allowed to talk about. I think finta is a really good piece to, to start with if you're new to opera. Um, the music is completely beautiful, but also very engaging and receptive, and it's very psychologically interesting, the way that these characters are drawn through the music. Because it's such a small cast, it really feels like a play in the sense of the, the kind of the contact that you have with the performers. And I think the performers that we've got, you know, they're not just singers, they're actors as well, and they're really brilliant at what they do, and, and so I think people will be, um, will be pleasantly surprised and... and uh, um, engaged by just the level of, of performance in terms of both acting and singing. The kind of quality of performance that you get on tour because it's on tour is something very unique. I think the standard is equal to, to the festival. There hasn't been one time when I thought it was less than the festival. No, and the philosophy is exactly the same and, and the philosophy of, of Glyndebourne carries on into the tour and if anything it's kind of, kind of fostered and re-energised in the tour somehow. What I found amazing for, for doing Finta for the tour this time is that been able to go over everything again and go a bit deeper and develop the ideas that we yeah. started in the summer. So, um, if anything, the tour is better than the festival. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>